Hello and welcome back to another episode of Nosh's Quest to Gold. Today on Neo Planet, we're going to be looking at a Protoss versus Terran matchup. I'll be playing the part of the Protoss player down the left hand side. And up at the top right is my Terran opponent who I will call Panda. I don't know, I see a lot of this on the ladder, a lot of things in brackets, and I don't know if these people are parts of clans or guilds or tags or things. I mean, in Silver League, against maybe one or two Gold League players, I don't really imagine many of them are part of many clans or tags or anything. So I'm just going to call him Panda. I really enjoy playing this game. Um, the gentleman I actually played against, Panda, was very well mannered, um, very friendly. Um, we actually had a bit of a conversation after the game was played as well, so I thought I'd show you this game today. And you could have a look and you could have a see and you could see exactly what's going on. You can see Panda's moving down. He's going to start his wall off at the front here. I've already sent out my probe though. I'm very used to playing against Terran opponents. Um, and pretty much the majority of the time they end up walling themselves in. Um, at the start of the matchup, so it's really essential for me, at least I feel at the moment, it is to try and get my scout in early before they've walled off to make sure that they're not, you know, doing anything fishy or I can actually just see what kind of stuff they've got coming out. However, incredibly unusually for me, uh, you'll see now, my probe has noticed there's nothing at the front here. There's no barracks, there's no anything else, you know. Uh, moving around the back as well, I can see that he's not taking any gas, and I'm thinking this is very strange. But now that I come over here, I do see this SCV down here, so I'm like, haha, he's just shit, I'm gonna attack him. Not realizing that somewhere hidden sneakily in the other side of the map, Panda actually has a proxy racks start and building, almost halfway complete. Looking back into my base, you can see I've got my um, assimilator down, I've got my gateway going up. I'm actually going double gas to try and get two gateways up and go early stalker pressure, as I spoke about in the last replay. Coming back in with my probe after getting chased away, I go back up the ramp and see that my opponent Panda has actually started his barracks up here. And again, my own ignorance is, you know, telling me that he's not very good, rather than something bad is going on. I see another SCV coming down to attack me, so I pull away, and I'm going to pull back in and keep nosing in and out as often as I can. Unfortunately, this, um, well, unfortunately for me at the moment, this barracks is already finished up. Um, it's only a matter of time, I think, before my opponent uh, pops an attachment on it. Yeah, he's got three in his gas now. And there you go, as as I said, he's got his tech lab starting. Uh, you'll actually notice my, uh, or you might know, you might not, my opponent's going to be going for some very early marauder pressure. He's actually came up himself with his SCV to scout my base to see what sort of things he's going to be facing against, what sort of things he's going to be dealing with. Um, at the moment I have just one gateway, I have my cyber core on the way, I have a pylon at the back, and I'm just starting my second gateway now. Um, Panda has only just started his concussive shells upgrade, which will be done quite soon. He also has a tech lab, he doesn't have a tech lab, he's soon going to have a tech lab I think on this as well and he's going to start double pumping marauders towards my base. Um, I would have liked to have seen him maybe uh, with this Oh, big chunk of lag there. I'd maybe like to see him with uh, that SCV, maybe sneak in here, get a bunker up or something. But, um, he obviously felt like he didn't need that. He felt like just the pressure itself should be good. I'm actually um, rushing out a zealot at the start. Uh, this is actually going to be incredibly and shamefully embarrassing. As you can see, this doesn't actually have a rally point, so the zealot comes out right here. And he can move from here to there. And that's it. So I've got my gateway tech started, I'm going to be transferring my um, gateways into warp gates quite soon. I've actually started a stalker here and will be with my next set of minerals here, there we go. So I'm going to have two stalkers at the front to deal with this, but at the moment I have two marauders incoming into my base straight away. So I've actually chronoed this before seeing that, which is actually very handy. Um, the two marauders are just running straight into my base, I'm starting to panic. A little bit of pressure going on here, and with concussive shells uh, the stalker is you know, not in a good way. Second stalker comes out, I didn't really get a chance to grab him or do anything, he gets instantly murdered. I pull a bunch of probes to try and get some defense on, but now we've got three marauders versus one stalker and a bunch of probes. Um, Panda's doing a very good job of pulling his marauders away, I've lost a good chunk of probes, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Chronoing out another uh, couple of units, it's two zealots this time, but getting a little bit too eager with my stalker here is going to get it killed. Um, I don't know why I'm not running in with the probes and attacking this probe, because apparently, you know, it wronged me somehow. With two zealots against three marauders, it's a bad day to be me, pretty much. I kind of panic a little bit too much and pull a few too many probes and just send them back down there. We don't need that many probes. Uh, another two stalkers on the way, though. Stalkers are really what's going to help me out. Chasing back with these two zealots has actually managed to buy me a little bit of time. 
Uh, this was silly, this is just wasting a hundred minerals right there. Lose another probe, lose the hundred minerals. So I'm just pulling these guys around here. Uh, you might have noticed there's only two pylons here that are, you know, saving the day for me. Uh, which are very quickly and very aggressively going to be taken out by Panda down the bum. Now I've got a stalker, I pull a bunch of probes, I wait for my second stalker. We pick off an easy marauder who's kind of pulled away from the pack, but at the cost of losing my warp gates. So now all I have are these probes and these stalkers to take out these marauders down here. Now with a little bit of micro, um, micro, uh, uh, boy Nash, I should be doing okay as long as I can not lose too many stalkers and, you know, keep my probes up. There we go, I've managed to clear up this little bit in my base. But if we have a quick look at the units loss tab, the units loss tab, that's not what I wanted. The units lost tab. Units killed is what it is. That's what I need. That's what I need. Units killed, you can see I've lost 11 workers. Um, and 17 units to my opponent's, well no, 18 units to my opponent's 8. So I'm in quite a bad way. Um, if I also go and have a look at income, is it? I only have 13 harvesters left, thankfully for me. My opponent had, you know, stopped flat on 17 and had been pumping out units, whereas I'd been trying to pump out things all the time. But I'm kind of desperately clinging on to my units here, trying to, you know, build my economy back up while trying to get my gateways back on form. Now I'd like to see me make these into warp gates, there we go, that's a boy nosh. Get some more units out, maybe a sentry on the ramp and things. I actually have this sneaky hidden probe down here, who I think has yet to see that my opponent has expanded. But that's pretty much what I would do if I was in his shoes. So very soon I'm going to grab this, move him down... Oh, another spot of lag there. Move him down here, pull him back, you know. Just check for the expansion and see that the inevitable is happening. I have actually done what I said I was going to, I've managed to get my sentry out. Uh, another thing I should really do, which I think I do in a minute or two, is just pull these guys back out of gas, or at least one set of them out of gas, and put them onto minerals. At the moment, um, in terms of income, I've worked my harvesters back up to the same level as my opponent, but if you look at my um, supply, not my supply, my uh, food, I'm very heavy on gas and absolutely light as fuck on minerals. So, with this little attack coming in, nice and easily avoided with a sentry here, but with three marines and three marauders knocking at my front door, um, I'm in a little bit of trouble. I do actually, you know, get another force field off, manage to kill a couple of units there. I could have actually got that marine if I'd been a little bit more on point, but the problem I have at the moment is both of these gateways uh, are on cooldown. So I'm just trying to keep it in sentries with my really high gas count, make sure that I've got enough to constantly force field the ramp, whereas at the same time my opponent has his expand started, which I've now scouted. Um, you know, he's got this little force outside the front of my base, so I'm kind of contained in here. Thankfully for me, if we have a look at the income, I've actually pulled my probes back up, but at the same time I've still lost a lot more than my opponent. Um, if we actually look at overall minerals lost, units lost, you can see I've lost a good 800 more than my opponent has. Now, I'm trying to make another gateway, I think. Yeah, I'm trying to make another gateway, trying to build up on my economy. I actually just realized I have absolutely full uh, chrono energy on my nexus, which just shows the super high level of skill that I currently play at. My opponent, on the other hand, I think his focus is away from this area here. He's still pumping out units, which is nice, but he's again, he's starting to work up on his economy, try and saturate his second base, try and get himself some more workers and stuff. At the same time, he's also getting at his factory tech, and he's going to have medevacs on the way, I think going straight for Stargate after he finishes this. So now that I've got a little bit of an army down here, I'm feeling a little bit more confident. Um, I feel like he's left. I still don't actually realize, if we have a look, that there's a proxy up here. I still don't know that. I must assume it in my head, but I think... I don't know. I don't think I've decided to go look for it. Um, I've got my third gateway just becoming a warp gate now, so I'm on three gates at the 12 and a half minute mark. Not exactly optimal or ideal by any means. Now, I don't know what's going on, so I send one zealot north and one zealot south. This guy instantly to his death. And noticing that, my opponent decides to pull his army down. I see his army moving, so we're, you know, just going to spawn a couple of stalkers up on the ramp, get up the ramp, and try and get some force fields before we get absolutely murdered. So, pretty safe up here. Unfortunately, I have lost a stalker. The new death animations are absolutely glorious. Now that the scan is finished, I can sort of, you know nip at his heels, stab him a couple of times. Also the cell, it's just he's just hanging out down here. He's actually meant to be standing in this kind of area to make sure that any pushes coming down the bottom sort of channel, you know, coming along here, I can actually see. But I'm kind of sure that his army's, you know, up at the top channel again. If we have a quick look, 
back here, I'm not really doing much. I've got my army, I'm kind of making sure I'm not supply blocked, you know, pylons, more gateways, things like that. But at the same time, I would like to see me maybe have placed a pylon down here or, you know, out of the vision range of this command center. Yeah, I guess I couldn't really place it anywhere. But at least maybe put a little bit of harass uh, on the base here. Now, I, I just instantly suicide two zealots into this quite sizable chunk of army, uh, which I do notice my opponent hasn't hotkeyed. Uh, me, at the same time, I have four stalkers and four sentries. Four stalkers and five sentries, which, against this number of marauders, isn't a good idea. So the plan here, drop some force fields, pick off the front view. Well, that was the plan, but for some reason, holding F and sort of mashing force fields, nothing happens. Stim gets popped, my units get absolutely thunder crushed, and I get properly murdered. Like I say, what was supposed to happen there was I was meant to drop some force fields, but holding shift and F and something, I don't know, I completely messed up. Everything went wrong, and naturally my opponent gets into my base and gives me a good old fashioned murdering, and I leave the game. So I hope you've uh, learned something from watching this game. One, force fields are good if you use them. Two, Terran are strong if they proxy with marauders and you don't have units out. And three, don't play like I play. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you very soon with another game. Bye-bye.